There he goes. Uh, I want to show this little circle I built. Uh, well, let me just bring it out here. I'll show you what we got. Basically, this is a transformless or capacitor fed supply. A little bit different, this one. To a lot of them that you see out there is can you see my oops I don't know I'm pointing this but if you see my bridge rectifier there I got two IN 4004 diodes down the bottom and I got two 18 volt zenas here and this gives me effectively an 18 volt supply DC directly from the mains it's current limited by these two um, capacitors they're 330 nanofarads each in parallel 400 volts and going around about 37 milliamps at that voltage but it drops down um, about 42 milliamps uh, with this LED at around about 10 11 volts no it was about 12 no, sorry i say 10 11 about 12 volts it was when i was using these wires and not connected directly um, negative side to the resistor here the load and the positive side to the led and i think the reason why is because obviously with these connections and these socket so, um, the resistance goes up because of the extra connections and it not being very good and so I've actually dropped the resistance now across this and we're down to sort of 10 volts and I'm sure now then the, the milliamp will probably have changed as well so anyway we'll have a look at that do an ampage check on it uh, and then I've got a I've got a 1 mega ohm resistor here and that's just to uh, help bleed this off and there's a 10, 10 ohm resistor and basically that's the circuit's fuse so let's just flip the circuit on <coughs> well it's saying 7.8 volts I would say that should be uh, a little bit higher Maybe this is this um, the difference here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as you can see, there, look. Oh, oh, there's no point in turning it like that because you can't really see the battery in the head. So, 7.9 volts. So, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna disconnect that and I'm gonna set this down here. If we can. Yep, I'm gonna take this off. And uh, what I expected to do is give us more voltage by just using these connections to offer a little more resistance and we'll see if this works so we've got a little bring the LED up Okay, so I think now the voltage will be higher. 7.78. Why do you think that is? And that's, um, I suppose my incoming mains, of course, is going to rise and fall a little bit. But that's quite a, that's quite a, a jump. That's like two, 2.3 volts. I can check my own range because if I just move these wires that seems to be accumulating over here out of the way. I can press the display on this. And I've got 250 volts coming in, so hmm. I need to have a little think about this. Okay, so I was trying to figure out 
what had happened then. Well, it seems to have been. I've dropped down the power supply there. It started off with 17 volts. Okay, I should put it to 18 really because that's what that's what the open voltage is on this. Um, I've taken the capacitors out. I just wanted to measure that they were okay and still functioning as uh, as what they're supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna try. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, and I've got the other one in here. It's okay. That one's showing a bit further off on the other one. That one's saying 324. It's supposed to be 330. The other one said three. It was 327.6 or something. I'll pop this one. So easy, I need both my hands. There we go. So those seem to be okay, there's nothing, there's no problems there. Um, I suppose in some ways I prefer it to drop the power and have the power rise now. Let me just take it through here. And you can see that get that wire out of the way. All the cables hanging here. This is the um, that's a um, a display I have on the bench. And that enables me to see what I'm using uh, on this bench. Not quite sure why I just showed you that. It had some significance inside my head, but I seem to have lost that significance. Right, so, as I was saying about this circuit, so we're regulated 18 volts here. Uh, now I put those capacitors in, so I can chop this down now. And you see. Hmm. Now yeah, that's not a good sign. Now I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I think I've just killed the Xenos. Gotta check. Okay, so this circuit doesn't really like to run open circuit. Or well, at least that's what I'm starting to work out because I've just killed another another two Xenas, so we've got a we've got four there now. So let's give that a little flip down. 19 and a half volts. I'm not gonna let it go up any higher than that, because I've got a funny thing that's what might be killing the Xenas. Xenas. However I'm supposed to say it. Um Hmm. So I'm going to put the load back on. That seems to be a little bit higher going through there now. There shouldn't be any reason. I mean, it's they're 18 volts, so Zenas. I must admit, I didn't test those two. These ones here I tested by putting them on my power supply, um, taking them up to like, you know, sort of 16 volts given a current limit of 10 milliamps and then just taking them up to like you know just under 18 volts and I it kicked in started conducting the 10 milliamps went across and so I know that the the zenas were working and at the correct voltage uh, so not by rights when I put this load back on again this should be fine so I expect it again to uh, probably drop down to about 12 volts um, maybe 12 and a half and this thing should give us the same sort of illumination as that right. let's just set that up okay so I found the 
LED pop that in so we've got a bit of a load everything still exactly the same and it's 9.5 volts that's going to move around a little bit what we're hoping to see is a constant current so I'm just going to swap this over now so we can well the best way that I can actually do it I know well, I think there's another way but I'll have to look it up you know, how to measure the load but I'm just going to do it the, the basic way okay so we're now set to read the amps Thirty million. So yeah, it is actually drawing less current through it now uh, than what it was earlier. And it's exactly the same setup. Um, I may have moved holes in which I've put the things into, but so that's what starts drawing. 30 million at nine uh, nine volts. What did we say it was? It was nine nine volts here yeah, and at 31 milliamp. So if I do uh shall I get this right? If I do uh, 31 times nine divided by a thousand point twenty seven nine watts. I wonder if that sounds about right. That does sound about right, doesn't it? I could do that. I could do it on that mean on that power supply over there. Just set it up so it's uh, nine volts, thirty-one milliamp, and see what the uh, the power is on it. Maybe I'll have to do that. I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I was just thinking to myself, well, I suppose it could make a cheap little plug-in night light, but considering the danger of the actual circuit and the enclosure that you'd have to put it in, and um, the bloody capacitors are expensive. Uh, the 400 volt these polystyrene film whatever they are uh, polyester poly uh, whatever the film capacitors anyway uh, yeah they're pretty expensive but I suppose it has got a reduction on cost if you thought about it like that because the for that DC smoothing capacity you don't need a, a high voltage unlike on some of the other ones like in the little LED lights I've got kits that I bought from China there, uh, that's what made me start looking at these um, transformless power supplies because the chips, are, the, ki the kits I got from China, and it just startled me to if they were going to be safe or not. And really, I suppose they are as long as they're enclosed. Well, as you can see, that look, the actual ampage is pretty, um, pretty regulated. That's because the capacitors are doing that. The voltage I expect to move, you know, I expect to see it move around um, more so than uh, the amperage. I keep pausing it to set it up, but I could just fast forward those bits. So let's take that off there. I'll just move that like that for a minute. Um, may as well see what it pulls on the amperage as well. Just for the sake of it. Broken a bit of wire. onto here so what we got is we got this fan I don't know what it draws but it's gonna be more than the than the LED it's got a buck converter on there that wants powered it's got a um, oh you can't see it 
Okay, well, let's do that again. So what we've got here is we've got a buck converter. There's an LED. Oh, let's move out a bit. And of course the fan. This is a 12 volt fan. It's been regulated with the uh, with a buck converter there. Then it's this one we want to be looking at. The one directly below my finger there. And you can't see that from there, so let's see if we can see this as well, because that's the amps. There, when this all goes on, and I'm going to switch it down. Uh, I'm going to point it out again for that one. That's what I think is going to go. It may not go, I don't know, This because I've got another one here now that I didn't have before when that happened. So, mm, let's see what happens. Yeah, it don't seem to have had enough power to do anything. Yeah, it hasn't blown this time. And I wonder if that's because that is there. I wonder if it's because I got it going through the amp meter instead. But what I'm going to do to test my sort of theory is take out this um, bleed resistor. Because my theory is because this is here it's just altering the circuit a little bit look how magnetic that is huh? it's all gone really magnetic I mean that is pretty damn magnetic isn't it wow okay <laughs> it's probably not so good on there well, that is very definitely magnetic. That certainly wasn't like that earlier on. <coughs> All those, those, uh... No, it's this. It's the resistor. Because all these things have not just become magnetic. My screwdriver and my long nose pliers. And let's get the cutters. Ah, well, it doesn't happen with these. I wonder why that is. Anyway back to the plan so here we are this one again let's see what happens no it's trying to go for its maximum what it can pull there but that's not enough to do that so oh, i wonder why that that frazzled out it's nice to see though that the circuit won't pull more than you know 38 million 35, I suppose that was enough still to um, cause some sort of damage now of course these won't be discharged now there you go that little crack I mean not a little crack a little just a little tiny I suppose yeah a rice crisp it's a little crack I gotta use this so I can see better I'm gonna put that back in there because I do prefer to have a bleed resistor and as it doesn't seem to make any difference now because we might be playing around with this circuit um, that's okay well it certainly doesn't have enough power to get this this going but it does have enough to um, for us to have a uh, an LED which is great but still seems quite a quite a dangerous way of illuminating an LED There we go. And with that, I think that's enough playing around with this little thing just for the meantime. Then what we've worked out is it pulls the voltage down, which is regulated. The fuse, okay, it did work earlier. Pity I didn't catch that on camera, but we, we don't seem to have any issues even when we try and overload the circuit. It does not like not having a load there. I don't want to keep losing the zeners, but I suppose the only way I'm going to find out is to not have that load there again and see if we lose. See if we lose. It, it's got to be done. It, it's got to be done. We're going to take the load off. Okay, just disconnect the load. Um, I need to actually see whether it's what it's doing on the voltage. So I need to switch back to the voltage. Switch back to the voltage. 
so we can monitor that because that's how we're going to know whether it's um, whether those zenas have died. Zenas, zenas. Uh, I still want to speak English, UK English, British, North America. Right, so there we go. That's. Uh, I wonder if that's just going to that. That will just keep rising, won't it? Oh. Oh, I saw it. I think I see charge doing things and not being used and then it just keeps gaining and gaining and gaining bit by bit and then of course that means the Xenas then will Oh I don't know. I'm just gibbering a bit now. But I hope they still work. So Well, we'll see soon because it will say 1.2 volts about. So, uh, that's still okay. So I'm going to say that circuit's still okay. So, anyway, guys, cheers for watching. Bye.